Hey everybody, one of Wisdom here. We just wrapped up Chapter 23, Empire of Ice, and Chapter 24, Pirate Seas. We got the time goal taken care of on both. Uh, out of all of the Adventure Pack chapters, the one that I thought would be the toughest is Dark Light Crypt, and uh, we are about to see if that's the case. Uh, you've got the boss battle with Oculus. You know, it takes up some time if they count that. There's a couple of lock puzzles I think you have to go through, which uh, I've had a couple people comment, you know, they actually timed my videos in Quicksilver Vault or somewhere that had them, and uh, didn't seem to count against the time. It might have been the Troll Warehouse, now that I think about it. But, uh, regardless, there's quite a few obstacles in this one. You have to switch in and out from the real world to the ghost world, drop the platforms, then in the maze, you've got to pick up the three keys for the final gate, one key for the gate prior to that, so, uh, Either way, I could see this one, even if we get it our first time like we did with the others, you know, uh, I think this will probably be the most challenging. I don't really anticipate much trouble with Dragon's Peak, but uh, we'll go ahead. Uh, again, it'll be Chapter 25, Dark Light Crypt. I'm going to go ahead and head there. You know, I don't think I have the enemy goal in this one, but I did the first time I played it through, which was on the glitch save file. Uh, you know, but here we are, we're starting at the 134 mark, basically, and you can't skip this cutscene, so... from the real world to the ghost world, and back again, watch! I don't know why you can't skip it, I mean, once you've seen it, you kind of know it, so... Believe, huh? I think pretty much everything else you can skip, you know, all Oculus's lines and everything like that. So, if it's a scary monster in the ghost world, switch back and you'll be able to pass him in the real world. It's not as hard as it seems, just like following a recipe. I had better change things back. Those are petunia pinchers or something? I don't really remember now. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that's better. Eh, I mean better. Okay. Anyway, the bank is gonna take my pie shop if I don't get some sales and soon. <coughs> Did you find out why the ghosts have stopped buying my pies? Alright, well that took a lot of time, and uh, you know, I couldn't see that possibly counting. Speaking of that, uh, let's check that. Okay, it's 12.30, and like I said, I don't have the enemy goal here, but it's primarily because I got it the first time I played it through on the Weapon Master glitch file. Uh, so basically, once I get this in uh, Dragon's Peak time goals done, I'll just come back in here and kill everything off with some legendaries or something to get them up. But anyway, so we got 12 minutes and 30 seconds. We're picking up. It'll be around the three and a half minute mark. And I'm just basically gonna do like we do, skip everything we can, and uh, kill anything that gets in our way, skip Oculus's lines, we don't really need to hear them. Okay. I remember, some of those I think crush you, just can't really do much about it. <laughs> Oh, I did not mean to do that, but nonetheless, <laughs> it works. And you have to be in the ghost world for these puzzles, I think. Okay, and supposedly they don't count against us, but, I mean, who knows. I think the one that's really hard is for that flamingo that's a legendary treasure. I think the others were relatively easy. The uh, main thing on this one, I guess you want to wait until that passes. You don't just want to like slide into it in case it kills you off and then counts against you or something. So. Oh. So, so, okay, so there's nothing over there. It's ridiculous how easy you can take care of all that now. <laughs> 
Yeah, the, yeah, there's the key in here we've got to get. Um, I think there's a fire gate, if I remember correctly. It's one of those little deals where it doesn't seem to want to let her push the block for whatever reason. And I think we have to push that one there for when we walk back. Okay, yeah, there is the fire gate there, so... Monster gates here. I'm just. Yeah, I guess that's not one of them. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> the speed saved us there. Oh, that's been a disaster in the past. I guess you have to kill all of this stuff here. Empire of Ice, you just kind of got to do whatever you wanted. And it uh, seems like if you killed it right in front of the gate, it would let you pass. And here, I guess it doesn't. Oh, I tried to go back and I couldn't. But it's little stuff like this that's gonna eat up time, you know. Oh. Jeez. Sometimes like this, you wish you could jump. <laughs> I think now we have to blast them with a cannon, if I remember right. Hey, you're smart, aren't you? Pretty tricky, huh? I'm really impressed, but I'm not sure what you're really looking for here. Oh, I guess this is the part. You've got to blast this string of them. Right as we get there. Again, you know... Originally, we would have been slaughtered right there, so <laughs> the speed upgrades are very nice. You basically just have to hit one of them. I originally thought they had to like all line up. That ghost puzzle, I'm sorry, that lock puzzle, you actually have to be in the ghost world to do. And so that's why you actually have to come over here as opposed to just go straight downhill. I'm having to push C twice for some reason on both of these puzzles. I think this one's pretty straightforward too, you just kinda like snake through. I think it takes six moves to get it. Yeah, so as long as you don't go the wrong direction, you're pretty well set on these two. And what is the fastest way to do this? That's the lock puzzle from you know, like a nightmare. Uh, I think this has the... Okay. But that lock puzzle back in that corner is for the Flamingo Legendary Treasure, and it is a royal nightmare if anyone cares to experiment or something. I think this is the Oculus' hedge maze thing coming out. Which again, you've kind of just got to... Nail it, I guess, the first time through, so. Lots of stump demons. I think there's a spawner. You know, a couple of them, actually. I think this teleporter thing will take us straight. Yeah, there's the key. I know she doesn't need that, but if it's relatively in our way, I tend to just get the treasure. <laughs> yeah. uh, ordinarily, I would advise that you uh, kill everything off. There's a key right at the front we can get. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go this way. You actually have to maneuver through this stuff. And keep in mind, you can only get the keys when you're in the real world. Uh, it's the same reason the ghosts can't, like, free themselves, etc. Okay. 
Um, I think. Nope, can't go that way. Maybe it's down here. Yeah. Okay, this is how we get in over here. Okay, so we'll grab this key first, hopefully. Okay, where is that? There it is. Grab this key. And go ahead and get them in. I mean, you know, we may make this in all honesty. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's definitely probably the best way to do this now that I've done it. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Sometimes it happens. I think you can get through this first section and then the second one you have to stand at the third one because that final one won't open and then you get crushed. Uh, that shuts, then those shut, and then now you move forward and we'll do the battle. Okay. Do you made yes, it through we did. My maze? Uh, well, I guess it's time to get my it's basically go into Ghost World, go find that scepter, or I can't really remember what it's called now. And then you head to a cannon, and you repeat three times until you've killed it. Okay, crud. I guess we have to go around. He does tend to get hits on you when you like shake, I think, but I mean, it's not really a big deal. I'm just gonna go for the one the farthest away this time. strategy went down the drain. <laughs> Luckily, you know, stealth is pretty quick, so it's not too big of a deal. And this will be our final blow against them. That does it. So. I would hope we got it there. Uh, not a hundred percent sure we will. But you did it. Okay, so where is that gallant guy at? I'd hate for this to count against us and not make it because I forgot we had to go find him. Um, seriously, where is the guy? Ah, I don't know. Are you ready to go yes. back to the bakery? I hope so. I already know which pie I'm What's going that to have order? cost us the freaking time goal? Ah, so we got it. Um, <laughs> I was kind of worried about it, particularly I think he was probably right beside us when we just did a 360. But, uh, that, little, that whole maze area went absolutely perfect, uh, you know, if you're doing the speed run and you're having trouble, just kind of replicate the path I took because I didn't really plan it out. I just sort of went for that one key first, and it turned out to probably be the best thing to do if you're going for the time goal. Of course, if you're trying to kill everything, you wouldn't want to do it that way, but uh, worked out great. Like I said, after I get the time goal in Dragon's Peak, which I'm going to do next, uh, I'll come back in with the legendaries or, you know, if I happen to get in tornado camo wham shell I'll let them come in and kind of take care of the enemies or something but uh anyway uh I'm surprised we got that our first try I kind of thought it might have given us trouble but uh can't argue with what happened you know it wasn't perfect but we got it done so now I will uh 
in the video here and we will head off for Dragon's Peak. But questions, comments, feel free to ask here on YouTube or the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, whichever you prefer. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and just as a reminder, I am currently slammed. Uh, hadn't gotten to get to the comments on YouTube in forever. If it's a really pressing issue or you just, you know, kind of need quick feedback or something, feel free to ask on the blog on a pertinent post or just, you know, ask one of Wisdom posts I've got up there. You can find a link to it on the top of the blog. Uh, I get to that every night. I make a point to do it. And uh, I will get to the YouTube comments eventually. Uh, hopefully after maybe I get all this Skylander stuff recorded, I can then go back, hit all the ones that were actual questions, and then uh, stay on top of it as we proceed on. But uh, Anyway, Darklight Crypt, Chapter 25, actually went pretty smooth in my opinion. So, uh, as I stated, I'll head off, do Chapter 26, Dark, uh, <laughs> sorry, Dragon's Peak, and uh, see if we don't get lucky there too. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we will catch you back here shortly.